Hey guys, it's Amy and Tony. What's up? And we're gonna take some overripe bananas. There's four of them in there to be exact. We're gonna make some banana bread. Really easy. Never tried this recipe before, but we're gonna try it tonight. So, four overripe bananas. You're gonna need a cake mix, whatever cake mix you wanna use. I'm just using this white cake mix because it was next in line in the stockpile. So, and I've also greased the pan. I'm gonna just do mine in a, I think this is an eight by eight. Given to me by my wonderful friend, Crystal. You're gonna add two eggs. Tony's gonna talk to you while I wash my hands. All right, so eggs count as wet ingredients? Yeah. Okay. And the bananas are wet. So I've got to throw this disclaimer out there. <laughs> I don't like banana bread. No, but I need to do these bananas. <laughs> Which I mean, I, I mean that, that's cool. Amy likes banana bread, and I'm happy when she makes it for herself, as long as she don't make me eat any of it. <laughs> so of course I will try a bite when it's done. But this, so you know, at the end when I say it don't like it, it's because I don't like banana bread. <laughs> Now, I saw this on Six Sisters Thrift. No, not S why do I keep saying that? Six Sisters Thrift. That's not right. It's Six Sisters Stuff. Yes, you just got thrifting on the brain. Yes, I will. But, that is literally all the ingredients that go in this. Now I'm gonna have to guess on time because I'm doing mine in a nine or eight by eight instead of loaf pans. But I've got it my oven at 350. Well it does smell good. Yeah, it does smell good. We are right here we have some bananas that are the like almost perfect we're starting to get a little still a little bit green that's how we like our bananas we don't like our bananas with spots on them so i kind of got tired of throwing out bananas and stuffing them in the freezer <laughs> just so i can throw them out later all right now she didn't add this to hers but i'm gonna add some chocolate chips milk chocolate chip. You can do whatever you want. I love that it said tear here and you do and it. not a big enough hole. So I'm going to put like half the bag. You can put some nuts in here if you wanted. No, we don't want it to be too, I mean, not, there's really no such thing as too chocolatey. But. Isn't that easy? I mean, even in the middle of the week, you can throw together banana bread. Sorry, I know I'm hitting the camera. The little cap thing is hanging down and I'm hitting my arm on it. Yeah, I did not notice the cap thing was hanging down. It 
It smells really good. Not gonna lie. I also like to slice up overripe bananas and put them in the freezer to put in smoothies. So they're, that's yummy. Tony don't like smoothies either. Tony's weird. They're not weird. Oh. Alright. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put it in there for like 30 minutes and then check it. But it'll probably need at least 45. But I'll let you know. Alright guys, it's time to cut into this. Um, I left it in there slightly longer than I meant to because I was downstairs getting packages <laughs> for eBay and was trying to hunt one down and when I came back upstairs the oven was going off. So 45 minutes because 30 was not enough. It's really really dense. Look at that chocolate chips in there. I'll let Tony try it first. So of course, as I said, I'm not big on banana bread. It's it's not awful to me. If that was, uh, you know, the dessert wherever I was at, I would certainly eat a little piece of it. Um. It's not as good as if you made banana nut or banana bread yourself like almost seems like it needs a little bit more sugar but to be three ingredients it's really pretty good and see to me I like the sweetness of it oh you like that it's not too sweet yeah I'd probably make it again. I know I put milk chocolate chips in there, but they almost taste like semi sweet. <laughs> anyway, um, give it a try and see what you think. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.